My crotch is not long enough. Well, alright, not my crutches. <laughs> Something is not long enough. I don't know. <laughs> and it don't look too big. I can see it. Hey guys, what's up? It's a girl Lacey and thanks for joining me for yet another video. Now, it's currently December 22nd and to be real and very honest with you, I never planned on doing Vlogmas at all. Simply because in my field of work, December is the busiest month and I knew I wasn't going to have the time to record and edit and upload a video every day or even every other day. Wouldn't have worked for me. But... On December 21st I decided you know what um, it's a couple days leading up to Christmas maybe I can do vlogmas like for this week but instead of uploading everything day by day day by day day by day for you guys I'll upload I'll just comprise the next four days into one vlog I'll cut it and try to make it as short as I possibly can and then you guys will get that video on December 26th, which is the day after Christmas. And the reason why you get it December 26th is because I want to include December 25th in the vlog. And I hope you guys understand, like, this time of the year for me is, like, really busy. It's, you know, it's busy. And so vlogging every day or every other day just wouldn't have worked for me. But I'm going to give you guys, like, a couple days worth of vlogs. So what this week's vlog is gonna comprise of is work because <laughs> like you know this week i mean at least week this week work not going to fill up the vlog with too much work though because you know, that's boring you guys don't want to say that too much um it's going to involve i already did most of my shopping for like the look of fixing up around the place and again because whenever they plan for the vlog once i didn't record that however I'll do like the unboxing with you guys and show you guys what I'm going to put where and all that good stuff. So you'll, you'll still get a little hint of the shopping in a sense. Just not when I was doing the actual shopping and I'm so sorry. But I'll, I'll include you guys nonetheless. So when I'm unboxing the stuff, I'm putting up and trying to, you know, add my little decor to whichever area of the place i'm adding decor you guys will definitely see that and i hope you guys appreciate it i'm sorry for starting so late but you know life is lifing <laughs> life is lifing i'm gonna start trying to do my best i just said to myself you know what look at something better than no nothing look at something i'm gonna look at something better than no nothing said the great abraham lincoln lie said me me said that <laughs> yeah man so you know what i might not have done the entire month but if i don't get four or five days that's still good enough you know i'm open i understand so like i'm me alone like i don't have nobody to so when me work and do a couple clients for the day run the mandible do look at shopping so i'm not gonna talk too much it is 8 58 december 22nd i said that i said that already all right so i'm going to start this vlog with the night portion of december 22nd and um i'm gonna start that with a haul i got some loungewear or i ordered like sleepwear and loungewear from shein um simply because more like someone ever have much like casual wear to like run go on the road run go supermarket and whatever and i like pretty sleepwear um so i'm just going to unbox those with you um but after this after the whole unboxing the vlog is gonna jump to the day portion of today's vlog i'm sorry i don't i hope you don't find that word um so you're getting the night portion of december 22nd now but then after you're gonna see what takes place another day time on the same day which is december 22nd right i'm so repetitive i need to stop anyways that's it guys that's it i hope you guys will enjoy this vlog i hope you guys will like it i don't know um, work supermarkets and all that that's what i hope you guys enjoy i love you guys and i appreciate you guys so yeah i'll see you in another something <laughs> welcome to vlogmas day 22 slash day one <laughs> okay <laughs> okay all right so all right guys it's not a lot of stuff it's three pairs of loungewear and three pairs of sleepwear and some cute socks and I'm not going to like try on and talk through all of them, but I am going to try them on and it's going to be a little bit sped up because again, 
this is several days put together and i don't want y'all to get bored okay so i had pulled okay let me talk to you this one i realized i don't have a lot of casual wear and whatever so i ordered a set of three this haul or thing is from shein sorry <laughs> so the casual wear i pulled it and i wore i wore one earlier today you're gonna see it in the day portion of today's vlog so let me do that first and talk through that <laughs> right, that's something yeah. it's three pairs and i don't know i love the feel guys i love the feel of it it feels super soft and it, it feels good for my skin and it feels nice and thick it not thin it not see through and whatever but i think it fits a little bit weird um i used to wear extra small and i feel like i'm kind of back to extra small in a sense i'm doing like extra small and small and some of the stuff that I like on Shein just don't have extra small, like the sleepwear. They don't have extra small, and I was a little bit annoyed by that because while sleepwear or loungewear are supposed to fit your oversize, I still not want it look like me get swallowed in it. You understand? And when I order small a lot of times in terms of sleepwear, they just tend to look very big on me. So I'd love to do extra small, but then the ones that I like don't have extra small. So then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy them anyway, and then I'm gonna be pissed about it. So this is very cute. I really love the feel of it and all that. But it fit weird. It fit weird. So like me, like, if, like this is a small. Like if you wear a large, you could have jumped in at this comfortably. You understand? So I don't mean, I mean, I know about that. But then again, maybe this type of fit, maybe it's supposed to be big. I'm not usually like a sweater, sweatsuit, whatever type of girl. So maybe i just not know maybe them type of something if it fits a big i don't know but i think the crotches part look weird and you're gonna see it in the other portion of this vlog because i'm gonna wear one on the i wore one on the road earlier this morning so you guys are gonna see how it fits this color and the one that you're gonna see in the vlog um i don't regret purchasing them because i wore one on the road today and it was a very comfortable fit so i don't regret it i wish it was a like the crutches spot never so weird but i kind of feel like i threw my shot like my other good mind said the reason why the crutches fit on the catfish is because my crutches is not long enough well all right not my crutches but my <laughs> Maybe my legs, like something is not long enough. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try to leave the links. It feels like cashmere. So this is sleeper number one. It's a cute little two-piece leopard print, uh, very silky and soft set. Uh, it's giving wine with the girls. It's giving movie night. It's giving popcorn and chill. Maybe Netflix. It feels really, really good. I like it. So this is sleeper number two it's giving soft as fuck it's giving the crutch is too long and it's giving weird but it's also giving i'm on my period and i just want to be comfortable laying in bed and it's giving a very cold night so this is super warm so you can't wear this on like a hot evening this is sleeper number three and the one i was looking for to the most but i ended up loving the leopard the most but this is giving um rich auntie vibes do not call me on the weekend i'm probably on a yacht drinking straight from a wine bottle don't bother me it's giving luxurious it's giving cute it's giving comfy it's giving i could probably wear this door brown with a nice side um shoulder purse and a nice Bridget slippers. Yes, it's given multifunctional. It's given crutches still long, but just I don't fix it. She, you know, can't the crutches is not sharp per sharp people friendly. I don't like that for me. But yes, I like it. Bye. So this is loungewear number one, and right off the bat, it's giving comfortably. It's giving super soft, and the skin it feels like butter. Um, it's giving. I'm running to the supermarket, and I'm just trying to be comfortable. Still a little bit of a weird fit. So I'm a little bit iffy about that. But these sets are so multifunctional, and I can switch out the tops to go with another one of the color bottoms, and it will still look great. So it's a yeah for me. And I got these socks and I really love them. They're really comfortable. I hate my feet being cold. So these are perfect. They feel really good. And yeah, I'm pleased with the socks. Nothing bad to say. Bye. 
Hey guys, it's still December 22nd. You're about to watch the day portion of the December 22nd vlog. And this is one of the loungewear sets from the Shein haul that I got. And I think this one is my favorite color out of all of them. And this is how I wore the fits. I pulled up the ankles um, a little bit below my knees. I don't think I'm tall enough to wear it the other way. And I had pinned a part of the top under the underwear of my bra just to make it a little cuter, which it did. And I wore that with a cross body bag that is also from Shein and a, a pair of my brown Zara sandals. And I think that was a look. I really liked it. It was very, very comfortable. So today I'm going to do two things. Well, three things. I'm about to go to Nutsford to pick up my plants, which is a gift. I'd ask for plants because I really, really want to start having live plants. And, you know, I got it as a gift and I'm going to go and pick it up now. So I'm really excited about that. I mean, it was ordered from a lady in Kingston. So it was sh shipped on Nutsford. And then after that, I'm going to get my nails done. And then after that, I'm going to come back and uh, do a client or two. So my day today is really, really busy, but really exciting. I'm excited most about the plants. I've always wanted live plants. And I'm so happy that somebody heard me and got me what I wanted. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in the next portion. Bye. <laughs> Hello, is anybody here? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna find some money here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Can you provide me your ID? You want ID? Thank you. Let me see. <laughs> All right. I wonder if it's like a whole thing. Have it carefully. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. Right. This is the these are the plans. These are the plans. Guys, 
so tired. You know, tell them about something happened to me. So, okay, and this is an issue my arm, like with Jamaican like local businesses, like. I really want to support local businesses right like I really want to support local businesses and possibly buy everything local and whatever but it is so hard you know why them customer service is very shitty and that pissed me off because I've worked in the customer service industry for so long customer service industry for so long both formally and informally and the way all them deal with people like I couldn't deal with anybody like that and even in my business like I just don't deal with people like that so when I go somewhere and get poor customer service it pisses me the fuck off like it pisses me off because I'm like this is not how you handle people like this is just not how you deal with people so I wanted a wig honestly most of my bundles are like we got anything like that I'm gonna buy it online overseas i these bundles i bought on amazon like i'm gonna buy a lot of stuff from amazon because i don't have to deal with bad customer service and if something is wrong with what i ordered like my guarantee so mega get a refund like without the back and forth and the problem because i've just had bad experiences with local businesses so anyway i wanted a wig can't add a wig now on christmas so I'm going to search, I'm going to search, I'm going to search, I'm going to search, I'm going to search. You know what if I them there still wig? And I'm like, oh my God. There, one time, I bought a wig on Instagram from a local um, store. One of them IG business there. And the worst wig I ever buy. And it's so weird because whenever I wear that wig, like you guys will say, oh my God, where did you get that wig? The hair, the, you know, the hair is so nice. It looks nice on camera, but it's the worst to deal with in real life. That shit is mixed with synthetic fibers and you know based on how poorly your hair or your bundles take product, you know say it's mixed and it sheds so bad. Right now it's so thin because it's so hard for the feet and a bit not up. Like it's always nutty. Always in knots, no matter the quality of products means that I hear it, it's just gonna not. It's just gonna not. Like that's just what it does. Right? That's just what it does. It's like a knot. So anyway, from that experience, and that was thirty odd thousand dollar. From that experience, like I've been very iffy to buy any type of hair business locally, cause me never get a bad hair from Amazon yet. I'm gonna get bad hair from people and buy them locally. Anyways, time, time in the palm side. So I found the IG girl and I reached out to her once in a week, <clears throat> and she was so nice initially. It's as soon as I transfer my money, is that the girl go cold turkey? It's like her entire tone, and yes, you can, you can, you can sense, you can hear a tone in messages. Argue with your mama, okay? You can hear a tone in the way people text. People will sometimes say, "Then oh, oh, what kind of tone is not like you hear me? I don't have to hear you out loud. Like it's obvious in the way that you are messaging me." If I'm gonna send the girl my money, is that the girl get she just got cold? I miss it. Oh, like, why is she give me attitude? No, I'm like, I message her and I say, Hey, so and so, are you gonna send off the order? And she don't even say, Hey, she just say, Sending off in the night, you can pick up tomorrow. And the thing is, when I transfer my money or before I transfer my money. Or let's say when I transfer the money, if she did just said to me, say, Hey, thanks, got your payment. However, I send off my packages in the night, so you'll be able to pick up tomorrow. The fact that when I send my money, all she said was thanks, and that left me to have to ask her how delivery got or how soon delivery got happen. I don't like that. Like that's like that's not a green flag to me. Don't leave me to have to ask you anything. The moment I send my money, or you could do it before, but let's say you don't want to do it before. When I transfer my money and I send you the screenshot, that's when you should say to me, thanks, um, all packages for today are going to be sent off, sent off uh, through Nutsford tonight. And, you know, you'll be able to pick up the following day. But me send my money and Alice said thanks and just gone. And I tell me not about delivery.
I just sent you my money, you know, I'm not other than thanks that let me know how delivery go. <laughs> anyway, she just got real cool. I'm gonna start get the attitude from sending the screenshot. I really messed up this bang. Anyway, if I'm gonna send the girl a screenshot, I'm a payment. It was a different person. And I even said it to her. I said, from her, like the moment like I sent you the payment, you have just like you're giving me an attitude. And that's really disappointing. And she read the message and she did not respond. She read the message and she don't respond. And I'm gonna tell you the problem. My aunt, Jesus Christ, my brother. I'm gonna tell you the problem. I'm gonna tell you why them stay so. Jamaican entrepreneurs only live for getting a sale today. What matters to them the most is today's sale that they're getting from you. They don't think about wanting a sale from you next month, next summer. They don't think about wanting a sale from you next week. It's like, fuck your other prospective business. Me get to the business, I don't care about you or what you think about me. And I find that so dumb. I find that so dumb. I have an online business. And while, like, my boutique right now i'm kind of just not like i'm kind of just not doing it right now but when i'm doing my online store i am nice to my customers before the sale during the sale and after the sale come on want your money again like me want your money again me want your money after this again because bills come every month bills come every month so why me just want to the money I just can't bother and I can't deal with the attitude. I can't do the attitude. I'm gonna want to customer somebody. I said customer service is very serious. I'm sorry. It's very serious. Annoying. It's horrible. I think our country has the worst customer service ever. I'm gonna mean, like that. Then we normally sell us something here with one syrup. I'm gonna think don't sell their French toast with syrup. I can't believe you have any idea. So, I got to Nutsford yesterday. My plans, I use their, they have a WhatsApp that you can text your tracking number and they'll tell you where your package is. So I checked the app, I checked the thing and then someone my package reached at the destination. So I took up myself and got Nutsford. I'm going to Nutsford, no plant, no, no, no. Them say, um, it will be there 5 p.m. So I'm going to do what I do. Do my client, go on the road. Go back on Nutsford. I'm gonna go at 5 o'clock, then I must come back 8 o'clock. Because the 5 o'clock bus did have to leave some stuff. The 5 o'clock bus had to leave some stuff. And I never, you know, never get to go back 8 o'clock. But the guy at the counter told me that he would have called me at 8 pm to let me know that the bus is there. I'm gonna get no call. When we got this morning for the plan, one of the guy, Philip, the same guy that he saw bring out the plan for me, he told me that the 8 o'clock bus got there like 8.40. 8.40, like that's mad late. Oh my God, I should have brought a pain killer, made that early. Mm -hmm. I want life plans, because I have fake plans, and I want an upgrade. really love outdoors, like I love trees anywhere where lots of trees and lots of water is that's me like i'm at peace i'm at my happiest around lots of trees and just that atmosphere is just it just helps me so i always wanted to be like a plant mommy <laughs> but just was not the right time but my apartment no is really big I like that and I don't like that. But it's the, the, the space is really big. And not only am I trying to like fill out the spaces, fill up the space, um, I just feel like it was the right time. Like I'm a nurturer at heart, like I take good care of things and people. So I just felt like I would do well with plans. Like me know so me commit to taking care of the plant for you to live it's gonna be a major thing because me not try to make my plant dead <laughs> so i just wanted to have that to do like knowing that i have this plant that i have to keep alive 
kind of like a baby but without the major commitment <laughs> so one is a fiddle fig the big one is a fiddle fig and i wanted a bigger one but the size that i wanted she, the girl the lady said she couldn't send it on nuts for it so i had to get like the medium size but i think that's also okay because if i get it at its biggest like i won't be there'd be nothing to grow <laughs> there'd be nothing to grow because i think they can only grow to like a certain height so there'd be nothing to grow you know and i want to be able to see it grow and i got another smaller one so now i need some stands i need stands to put it on somebody promised me to so that would just top it off good morning guys it is december 23rd and it is 9 26 a.m now today is going to be a pretty long day i have back-to-back -back clients today um my first appointment being 9 30 so clients should be here any minute now my energy is a bit low energy is a bit low um i stopped working kind of late last night and then when i finished working i just had a bunch of things to do so i didn't even i, I definitely did not get enough rest and i'm super tired i probably I'm not even gonna tell you how many hours sleep I got because they're gonna be like, oh, girl, what? <laughs> so yeah, so I'm tired. <clears throat> I'm very tired. And um, I just had a bad day. I had a bad day yesterday. Um, my day turned out or ended up ending just pretty bad. And I'm trying to not let that carry over into to today and allow that to affect my mood because i have clients to please so yeah <laughs> so yeah um clients should be here any minute today's vlog is really work it's just this work so I, it's not gonna be drawn out because i mean there is not nothing really exciting about that after work i don't know if i'm gonna run into mandeville my god like i haven't done anything yet i haven't gone to the supermarket like I haven't done anything and then tomorrow is grand market and like yeah like i just don't know i have not done anything i haven't prepped my meats I'm not, like I, I mean i'm not and even well christmas dinner this year is gonna be very small so there is really not a whole lot of prepping to do because i'm not cooking for a lot of people or whatever but i still like i really need to go to the supermarket because nonetheless i'm gonna be cooking right and i haven't done anything like i haven't touched the market i haven't touched the supermarket and it looks like it's gonna be a tomorrow thing which is the day before christmas so you know that's gonna be hackling and i'm already so tired and um, i don't know i don't know something happened yesterday that kind of just puts a damper on my spirit did i just say that i said that already yeah puts a damper on my spirit and i'm trying to fix that because yeah it's almost christmas it's like it's like just another day to go and then it's christmas you know so it's almost jesus's birthday so yeah <clears throat> anyway gonna speed through today and um, i'm really worried about the length of this video so it's like even tomorrow i might go to the hairdresser <laughs> like if i don't end up going like i don't know i guess it just is it, it is what it is because where am i going anyway but maybe want my ear though <laughs> you know still i want it to be cute and whatever i had a huge cup of coffee and i'm hoping it helps my mood i'm gonna go right now because i need to call my client to just confirm or to check if she's finding the place okay so guys um thanks for watching enjoy this vlog
I'm so tired. Um, it's December 24th. Welcome to Vlogmas. Day. You know the day. <laughs> 24, but for me, you know, it's like day two or three of Vlogmas. Welcome. Um, you guys saw how work went yesterday. I don't know, but lashing is really exhausting. You know, lashing is really exhausting. And on a normal day, it would be, it would be fine. <laughs> but I don't know. Like when there's a lot going on, I don't know because I haven't really slept the last two nights. Like prior to it being what it was yesterday for work, I'm gonna sleep the night before or the night before. So then work was just so hard because my eye them did a burn me all the stuff like like everything I was doing my eyes were just burning me the entire time like I don't know why my body would I choose this season to not be sleeping my can't take really like all of my excitement and stuff is like it throws off my nervous system and then it's like I'm just so anxious throughout the night so I don't know if my, like it's a thinking about ev everything that needs to be done. It's I don't know, like it's just been keeping me up, and I'm just feeling my shop. Um, and lashing is just exhausting. It's really exhausting. Anyway, <clears throat> today is the day before Christmas, and I wanted to go to the market because I really don't like buying vegetables in the supermarket. I do it when I don't have like I do it when I don't have much of a choice, but I don't like buying vegetables in the supermarket. You get the stuff don't last as long. I wanted to go into the market, but I don't know how I'm gonna do all of that today. I don't I don't know. It is what it is. Um I really didn't have the time this week anyway, so it is what it is. So, I'm not, not even including now. It's another vlogger telling me I'm reaching the supermarket because the legs of the vlog. It's too long. So, I'm not even going to go. I'm just going to go right now. I'm going to get up, make a cup of tea because guess I kill me. Oh my God. I've been eating like shit. I haven't really eaten the past three days. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to like that. Oh my god, it's my biggest issue. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are okay. I'm gonna get up, see what I can do, and try to get going. Hey guys, so got up, showered, got dressed, and we're ready to hit the road. Still tired, but <laughs> that's not gonna change. So we're about to head out. So that's what I'm wearing. So th the top, this is one of the tops from the the Shein sets that I got, right? I really love the tops. I feel like they're so multifunctional and that's great. Because I could pair this with jeans. I can pair this with something like this. And uh, like, you know, it just, it's flexible. I'm like that. The pants... Is weird pants is weird but <laughs> oh god the mirror not jesus the mirror one clean girl anyway guys yeah 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 so my god down on the road I'm going into the market first to get you know ground seasoning so like onion skellion look at irish look at carrots I'm kind of worried. No worried, but I just know instead of prices are going to be pricing. Like, if it was like 150 a pound, it's probably going to sell for 250 a pound because it's today. And then, because I almost look like I get robbed all the time, like, I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, me look like, like, why? Like, I just feel like I get robbed, right? Because them just think, that, oh, the girl, I look like she's a hot girl. She's supposed to have it, so I'm a robber. Anyways, man, chat too much. Me, I talk too much. <laughs> so I'm going into the market first, then I'm going to the hairdresser, then I'm going to go to the supermarket afterwards. Anyways, bye. I'll see you. See you guys. You guys cry. Oh, my God. Oh, 
keratin. What is that? No, this is one of the way to go. That's why I'm not going to say that pretty something, but I put it in here. I don't want to give you anything that is So for that? Yes. Can work trees one of areas. A lie. Yeah. If you give me them some big old jumbo one here. No, if you give me one or the co one. The old tree. Yeah. 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 A lie. Yes. Me can't me no one a tree for. So this is my hair guys, I really like it, it turned out cute, this is my very first time trying color and I think I'm gonna do it again, it looks really nice on me, so let's go to the supermarket now. Done with my hair and had to wait on a taxi to come for me, so I decided to grab a jelly downstairs a hairdresser because I had not eaten from morning, I don't know why I'm gonna do myself like that, I get busy and I think stopping to eat is just gonna take too much of my time. So that was that and now we're at the supermarket. All right, guys, so this is what everything came up to, and I was very hesitant as to whether or not I was going to show you guys my grocery bill, but I have to show you guys because guess what? All right, so I budgeted for $35,000, and the bill came up to like $10,000 more, but you know what I noticed? Whatever I usually pay for meat prior to Christmas Eve, the price doubled, so I normally pay $750 in the same supermarket per pound for a sliced fish, and it was $1,300 per pound when I came home and checked the receipt. Like, I don't know why do they do this, and I'm imagining that it's not just the meat, I'm imagining that other stuff on my list, the price is just doubled, and I was running out, I was trying to avoid this, but I couldn't because there was absolutely no time to shop before christmas eve i was bracing myself for this in the market but my never did that think about it for the supermarket but that's where it hit me like the prices for the stuff doubled that pissed me off i wasn't happy about that but it is what it is um if i had gotten like, absolutely everything that i wanted it wouldn't even be bad but i didn't but also i'm coming to terms with the fact that the things that i like just aren't cheap and that's just what it is Anyway, let's head home. We have some stuff to do. This is my little dining area um, before I change around the stuff. And we're going to do a little tablescape, Christmas themed. And this is what it's looking like. It's nothing too complicated, really simple. I've um, I bought these chargers and plates recently. The cones I've had, this is my third year. The little glass thing with the centerpiece in it. I've had the glass thing uh, the glass thing for a while, but the little flowers in it, I bought them at Pings recently. The little thing at the bottom, I've had that for a couple of years as well. So I really enjoy doing like the table around Christmas. I realize that it doesn't take much. You just have to mix and match some stuff and you know, and there you go. So I'm going to close off our December 24th vlog right here and I'll see you in the morning on Christmas day. So it's December 25th, it's Christmas morning and we're pretty much at the end of vlogmas and this is me in the kitchen. I'm about to get my chicken in my baking dish and me did a dance because music did a play and i don't know i was feeling myself i looked cute i did my makeup put on my nice little sleepwear and i was feeling like i'm a chicken <laughs> jesus christ i have a whole lot of chicken because i don't know what may i do what is this the f not you twerking in front of a chicken girl so <laughs> It's a lot of chicken because I'd anticipated cooking for more people than I actually cooked for, but it's fine. Fine. Um, I just found a way to, you know, to just give some other people food. Um, cause it's Christmas and whatever. Why it look like said a clip I repeat? Then me see this how they belong go jungle. Hold on them. Anyway, yeah, me don't know what I'm now. I'll go so. I did season up the bullet thingy over there, so I did already blend up my seasoning from like the night before and put my chicken for marinade. So my chicken season up and everything already and all that. Watching this back, this was so much chicken. This was so much chicken, but I was not gonna let my chicken go to waste. 
like I say, on a normal basis, I don't really buy mixed parts because I don't personally enjoy eating chicken. If you watch my vlogs or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I really just eat sea. I really just enjoy seafood. So, but I bought a bunch of chicken for Christmas. So I bake everything. I bake every single. Oh my girl, you're cute. You're cute. They look for me. Look like Susie the one maker over there. So <laughs> you know, say he's a wife. <laughs> And is you as a old wife. They don't watch the girl. No handicap around here. I never left my hand them up in the lady. Crazy. Then she cutesy. All right. Me I do too much. You better chill. All right. So I was doing sorrel. Sorrel. This is my paste. So my big chicken. And it's really sorrel, honey, and other spices. And I really like how this turned out. This is my second year doing this type of chicken. And it nice. It nice so bad. I'm not just as a sort of girl. No, she's making sorrel glazed baked chicken. And look how pretty the sorrel makes my sauce. So nice. the end of vlogmas this is me outsiding i don't know why <laughs> i took up myself in other night and i went out i'm exhausted i don't know what me to do like you are tired but um it was okay i had an okay time and that's just what it is thank you so much for watching i will see you in a next vlog i was supposed to show you guys a little bit of home decor but i really didn't the video would have been like an hour and a half so i'm just gonna try to do that you know i'm just going to try to put that in a separate video for you guys and yeah that's that thank you i i rarely remember to tell people to subscribe but please subscribe that would be nice please give this video a thumbs up please and leave a comment let me know how your christmas went let me know what you had for dinner let me know what's going on with you and like whatever else you want to talk about in the comment section just go ahead and do it okay bye